Hi guys, it's Dominic with Wholesale ATV again, and I'm here to show you these Kimco models that we have. Now this Kimco model right here is a Y6 Kimco model, and it is going to be a fully automatic. <clears throat> Same procedure as most of the other four-wheelers we have. You're going to have your brake right here, and you're going to want to hold your brake in when you're trying to start this over. The start button is where all the other ones are, on your left thumb right here, and it also has a kill switch. Move it over to the right for it to start. It being on the left, it will not start. Okay. <clears throat> throttle right here and you have a throttle control screw right here as well you break that nut loose back the screw out you have more play with the throttle you run it in and it blocks the throttle so you can set the speed accordingly you're going to want to run 93 or non-ethanol octane fuel inside of this it will run on 87 or a lower octane it will just run much better with a 93 or non-ethanol um, you're going to want to change the oil like all the others after the first full gas tank. So you're going to go through that first full gas tank and then you're going to come over here and use 1040 ATV oil to refill it. The drain plug is underneath and it's a 17 millimeter drain plug bolt and it has a screen on top of this drain plug bolt which is basically your filter. You don't have a filter that you're going to replace when you do the oil change. You're going to clean that screen under the drain on top of the drain plug and then put it back in when you put the drain plug back in. You're going to fill it right here with oil. Like I said, 1040 ATV oil. Just make sure it's full. It only takes about three quarters of a quart. And this is a Y6 model. There's also it's a 70 cc. There's also a 90 cc that we sell, which is going to be a Y10 model. Okay, on to the next one. Right here, this would be the Y12 model. It's uh, a little bit quicker. It is as well uh, fully automatic. You have a neutral forward and reverse shifter right here so make sure that when you're doing these shifts that you are not going from drive straight into reverse you're going to come to a complete stop and then put it into reverse um, same thing you turn the ignition switch on hold the brake hit the starter make sure your kill switch is on um, <clears throat> this also has brake locks push pin down to release squeeze the brake front brake and rear brake here you do not have a foot brake this also has a kick start to start as well on the side as does the 70 70s that i was showing you earlier that has a kick start on it as well if you, the electric start goes out on to the next one this is our one of our bigger used Kimco models this is the uh, y14 same as the other ones you're going to want to change the oil after the first gas tank run 93 in it can't start it unless you hold the brake and hit the starter. Um, these have little levers that you use as your parking brake. So basically when you pull the brake in, you're going to move this lever and release the brake. And that holds it where it's supposed to be and that brake is going to stay there. The only way to release it, squeeze the brake and it's released. Um, oil, the same on this one, you're going to have to change it after the first full tank has been run out. And you can see the dipstick is right here on the right side of the motor. Drain plug is underneath the case. You have a low and a high feature on these, so that's the difference on this one. You have low and high. This one just doesn't come with a kick start, it comes with a pull start as well. So it has electric start, but it also has a pull start. And that's right here. Battery is going to be right back here. Underneath this box. Take these two screws out, your battery should be up under there. That's all you gotta do to get to the battery. We also have a Euro model, which is a bigger model, 270cc. This is also in the Y14 range. Same thing as usual, brake to start, drive, neutral, and reverse, and it's right here on the front. This has a security feature on it, so it has a bar lock feature. So it also has security. Um, you're going to have to change the oil out after the first tank like all the others, but this one is also liquid cooled. So that's a nice thing. It's not just air cooled. So that pretty much sums up the uh, Youth Kimco line of what we've got here. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know uh, we do recommend the Shoemaker Battery Tender Battery Maintainer. It has an auto kill function. You do not want to kill your batteries. A lot of these battery charges that we have, are they don't have an auto kill function. So when the battery is fully charged, it continues to charge and kills the battery. The Shoemaker uh, Battery Maintainers charge the battery up and then 
turn off when the battery is fully charged so that you don't do any damage to your battery. And we do have a link to that on our website.